what's up guys welcome back to another video and this is my top 10 uh people um uh should be the people that should be the future of the company going into 2021 2022 whatever i might do a part two going into the future i don't know but this is future champions i could see going into 2020 now a lot of people but these um these uh Choices I I made these um people I got in my what's going it's kind of controversial because like a lot of them has been ruined a lot of them has been ruined but like let's just say if Vince McMahon steps down and Triple H takes over and he wants to um push these ten superstars and give them the WWE or Universal Championship so let's get started and my first um my first uh. Person on the list is Cesaro. Now Cesaro is a good competitor. He is he is uh good in a ring. Uh, I don't understand why uh WWE hasn't pushed him yet. I don't still I still don't I still never understand it. I would love for him to be the Universal Champion or WWE Champion. So my second pick is. Andrade. Now Andrade is getting no uh, Andrade is not in is uh barely even doing anything. If if uh Vince McMahon lightens up and have somebody else in control, I would say push him. So like cause he'd been buried. He did go on that good United States Championship run, but he needs more. He needs more. So my third my third pick is <clears throat> excuse me, Alistair Black. Alistair Black, most like he's getting punished for what um Zelina Vega said, and that's wrong. I think they're um they're being real really petty. This shouldn't even be a case. This shouldn't be even thought or even thought about. He should be pushed right now. He should be IC champion, WWE champion, Universal champion, whatever. But I would love for him to to um be Universal champion or WWE champion. So, my third, I believe, I don't know. I'm not going to number these, but it's 10. That's all y'all got to know. So, my next one is Buddy Murphy. Now, I comment I comment on, on Alex's video, who should be pushed going into the next year. And I said Buddy Murphy. And I was a little harsh on the, um, the uh, storyline. I actually like it. I don't care what nobody say. I actually like this storyline. I actually like it. And this video will be published on Monday. So this video will not will not be published on on uh during the weekend. So this will be put on Monday. So like y'all can look for this video. So the next person I'm I would love for them to push is my boy Ricochet. Now Ricochet has been jobbed out to so many people. It's not even funny. He jobbed, they jobbed him out to Riddick Moss on the last Raw before quarantine. That's fucked up. That's really fucked up. I think they need to rebuild this guy. Rebuild. We just rebuild him. Have him go away. Rebuild him. Have him come back. We need that old Ricochet. We need that old Ricochet. Get him out of this godforsaken storyline with the Retribution. With Retribution, put him in that main event. Watch he be. Watch he be a star. Now the second. Now the. Now the. This person, Rick Shin, Shinsuke Nakamura. I want this guy to get at least the WWE Championship once, or the Universal Championship once. So, this guy has been robbed. His whole main roster run was robbed. Now, he had his first um debut match. He won against uh Dolph Ziggler. Everybody ended up taking a taking a dub from Dolph Ziggler. But okay. Um he ended up beating John Cena. He beat John Cena. No, he I thought he was gonna win the money in the bank. I thought he was gonna win the money in the bank. I thought we was gonna get something. I thought Daniel I honestly thought that Bray was gonna retain the championship. And go out of 
Russell Mane go out of WrestleMania, and we was probably going to get something between Luke Harper and Bray Wyatt. And I was going to have Shinsuke, I wasn't going to have Shinsuke uh, cash in right there, but I was going to do something. I was going to do something for Russell Mane. But I don't know. They messed his whole run up. They had him, they had him beat John Cena, beat Randy Orton, two of the biggest names in, in history. Even though I don't like, even though I don't like John Cena, he, he fought him, he fought him on a random episode of SmackDown. And he lost to Jinder Mahal at SummerSlam. Why? And not and he was one of the first people to go in the freaking Survivor Series match. He was the first person to take a pinfall. One of the I don't know if he was the first person, but he um he got eliminated quick in the freaking uh in the Survivor Series match, and then he ended up winning the Royal Rumble, and he got put in a crap match with AJ Styles. And and I'm not blaming Shinsuke. I'm not blaming Shinsuke. I'm blaming Vince, cause Vince. This is, he's the future of the company. He should be the future of the company. I don't care what nobody say. This guy is the best. This this guy was like good. He's still good. But he's put getting put in a tag team with Cesaro. I don't understand. But let me move on. Kevin Owens. Now the performance I seen that that scene with when Kevin Owens uh with Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns at TLC. Give him the championship again. After one, after Roman Reigns dropped the championship, give him the championship back. Give him the championship back. Now, I might do a part two. I might do a part two. You never know. I don't know. I might do a part two of, of this. But I'm just doing people right now. They should push. So, going into uh, the future. So, yeah. So, Kevin Owens deserved that push. And, and can we get a rightful freaking... Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens storyline. They fucked it up. They messed the storyline up. I honestly, I honestly would have had Daniel would have had um instead of doing that the uh, freaking ladder match, I would have just had both of them fight for the IC championship. Instead of just a freaking ladder match, I would have both of them fight for the IC championship. But he needs to step away from mid cards right now. I think he's probably going to go back to mid cards, and I think he's going to go back to. But they did say he they but they did say that his might his main roster run might his main roster like title his main uh his um I think the WWE Universal title runs and WWE title run and title runs other than the mid cards he's done in the uh in the big uh spot. And he's done banging in the spotlight. So, I don't know. But I hope he get pushed. I hope he get one more run with the uh, WWE. Um, with both of them championships. I would love for him to get those, get one of those championships. So, going into the next pick is my boy Angel Gaza. Now, Angel Gaza reminds me a lot of the late great Eddie Guerrero. And... He has a swagger. He has the look. He has the he has the gimmick. Now, when people was comparing this guy to to Eddie Guerrero, I agree. I I agree. I agree. This guy is perfect. I would love, and then this is something I would do. I would have Chavo Guerrero mentor him. I would have him. I would have him as uh, I would have him I would have Chavo Guerrero as Angel Gaza's mentor. Have Angel Gaza get built back up again. Have uh, Andrade win the WWE Championship, and then we end up getting that match at WrestleMania. Andrade versus uh Angel Gaza for the for the WWE for the WWE Championship. Good. I I would love that story. I would love that. I don't like how they, they just did the breakup and nothing even followed. They it was a mediocre match they did on Raw and then the Fiend end up attacking Andrade. I don't that don't make sense. I want Andrade with a good run on the main roster. He shouldn't even been brought up. But okay. He's he's up to the main roster. What else could we do? We're not in WWE. So my next pick 
is Biggie. Now, I said I don't want Biggie winning the Royal Rumble right now. And I will be doing a video on why Biggie shouldn't win the Royal Rumble this year. I know that might trigger a lot of people in this weekend. I might trigger a lot of people. And speaking of um be doing more like Royal Rumble um style videos going into um going into January, so look out for those videos. But Biggie after the IC championship run, I think he needs to chase the uh, Universal Championship. I think he need to change I think he need to chase that championship. Really. And like get the beat the Universal Champion or my story was how he would get the championship. Kofi Kingston. Kofi Kingston wins or uh, he either A goes to um the SmackDown. And he goes to he gets the WWE championship. Kofi gets the WWE championship, and we see that Big E is getting more shine than Kofi. And Kofi end up turning on on Xavier. Kofi end up turning on uh Big E, and Kofi and Xavier was end up turning on Big E. So Big E end up coming from injury when the Royal Rumble, and we end up getting that. That uh we have um a. Xavier Woods retires. He's no longer wrestling. And he can just be Kofi Kingston's manager. We can get back the old theme song. We can big we can get Big E. His his um theme song right now is okay. But he needs to shed that New Day skin. That's all I'm gonna say. So going into the next pick is my boy, Limitless Keith Lee. Now, they changed his song. Well, when he debuted on Raw, the song was terrible. Then they changed it again. They changed it again, and they had a and they had a another song. They had another song, and they it's kind of like a remix to "Bask in His Glory," but like it's more like check out the song if y'all can. Check out the new song if y'all can. Of "Bask in His Glory," I actually like it. I actually liked it. I think they need to keep that song. So I would love for him to get the WWE Championship. He can be WWE Champion this year. I mean, next year, I meant. Going into WrestleMania. I don't care. We might. I don't know if they're going to have a title change before the Royal Rumble. I don't believe they're going to. They're not going to do that. I don't think. But most likely, something crazy is about to happen. I think something like. I think it's going to be one title change going into um, WrestleMania. I think it's going to be one title change coming, going into WrestleMania. I'm um, going into WrestleMania season. Because you know they did that with Goldberg and The Fiend. They did that with um, Goldberg and Kevin. They did that with, um, they did that with, um, I believe, Styles and, and, uh, Styles and, uh, freaking, um, and uh they did that with with Styles and uh freaking um Daniel Bryan. They did that with all they did that uh, so many times. So like we might get a title change tomorrow, um um basically on Monday. So we never know. But guys, thank you for watching this video. This is my list of the of um the the uh, Russell that should be WWE champion, that should get the, the should get the WWE champion. Ship. And I'll see you guys next time for I'll see you guys next time. I um I have plans to do some more videos um coming out this this week. Um I mean uh to tonight. So I, I plan to do a I believe a NXT review from I won't be reviewing yesterday's NXT review. Well uh well for like for this video well this video will be published on Monday. So, so I don't got to worry about this right now. And I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be talking about, uh, um, some of my favorite pay-per-views, some of the worst pay-per-views, some of the worst storylines and all that stuff. Some of the worst storylines, some of the good storylines. So look out for that video. And I think the last, I think, yeah, that's it. I think that's, that's it. 
F. And then like I do have plans to, and you know I'm not gonna tell I'm not gonna tell y'all my plans right now. I'm not, uh, I, cause I don't know. So cause sometimes I do be taking breaks and stuff. But thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to hit the um the like button, subscribe, comment, and yeah, subscribe and comment. Post that um hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys next time in another video. Take care of yourselves. I love you guys. Peace out.